All right, Brandon, so this is the set we've got. As you can see, it's a little bit worn and battered since you just gifted me a, a whole brand new set. Yes. At the beginning of last year. It looks like they've traveled many miles. <laughs> to say the least, to yep. say the least. Yeah, it's, um, I think since I saw you last time, I was finishing up my trip in uh, America. I went back to Australia for a little bit, went all through England, Portugal, Spain, Croatia, ins and outs of like ripping them up staircases and uh -huh. down, shooting coaching content, back to Australia, all through Indonesia, Vietnam, Singapore, uh, to America again, Mexico, okay. back, and then this trip's been non-stop Dubai, yeah. Portugal, Spain, everywhere. So okay. they've got some miles. They've that, got some miles. That they do. It looks like they've taken relatively well <laughs> to the miles. Well, except except my eight iron, which yes. is I lost in London last year and then had to get another new one, but back in Australia we didn't have quite the right shaft, yeah. so very similar but not quite the same. And I would dare say that with the wear and tear on these things, I think mm -hmm. I'm ready for a new set. Oh, 100%. Definitely looks like you got uh, some good wear out of the faces. It's my coaching club. Yep. <laughs> that's my, yep. I'm going to demonstrate with the 7 iron and then that's where the, the wear on the, hopefully the center of the yep. face is going to be on all of them. But, Correct. But and yeah. wedges look like they've actually held up really well. Oh, I love them. Really, really well. Yeah, the raw steel is just so good. Yeah. So why don't we just start off and kind of talk about uh, what I've currently got mm -hmm. uh, relative to our last fit. Mm -hmm. And then, then we can move through the process. And really, from my perspective as well, I'd like to know what is the difference between a tour player and a recreational player going and uh, wanting to get fit? And when should they know when to get fit? And how often? And is there any indication throughout their game that they maybe should get fit? Actually, that's a really good question. Uh, I would say the difference between a tour player getting fit and a recreational player getting fit comes down to the tour players there to make a living. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. they're looking for every single competitive advantage that they could possibly get. Mm -hmm. So they have to make sure that everything is right all the time. Mm -hmm. There's not too many guys out there out on tour that will just play something the whole year. That's it. No changes, nothing. Yeah, it's yeah, always yeah. going to be that constant tweaking and making so that they have every bit of advantage that they can. Yeah. Versus yeah. the recreational player, most players are still afraid to get fit, thinking they're not good enough to get fit. But everybody should be fit for golf clubs. Mm. You get a suit tailored for a wedding, that's not person to person to person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah. does it. Yeah. The golf clubs being fit is just like that process where you need to make sure that the clubs are your clubs, not just the clubs off the rack. Granted, clubs off the rack, technology improves mm. every generation. Some are big leaps, some are very small leaps in forgiveness or distance or both, um, where the average consumer will see gains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just have to be willing to take that risk to get fit and not be afraid to get fit because in the end, they enjoy the game more, mm. but they get better and they start to see the results out on the golf course. And just to echo that, so, so many players will say, I don't think I'm good enough to get fit mm -hmm. because I'm so inconsistent. Yes. But what would you say to that? Well, and, and as you know, from the teaching side, even the most inconsistent student is still consistent. They have a pattern. Yes, they have a pattern. Whether their path is yeah. six or seven into out or out to in or both, yeah. um, they will deliver the club in a relatively similar manner. Yeah all the way from your 36 handicap to a tour player, they deliver the club in a similar manner. Mm -hmm. So that player, even though they may not hit the center of the face, they might be able to hit the center face much more with a fitted set of golf clubs. Yeah, absolutely. So the Which old adage make... of just going to the uh, the store and picking them off the rack and off you go, yeah. certainly is almost doing a disservice for most players than actually Correct. helping them. Correct. Yeah. And not only that, but it makes your job as an instructor much easier and much <laughs> yeah. better because you are teaching and training that student yeah. how to make those changes with a piece of equipment that is better suited for them. Yeah, and and when I was a kid, uh, it was the idea, and bless my dad, he was like, oh, you'll grow into those clubs. Correct. And I was just teaching up at Pebble Beach the last couple of weeks, and we had uh, maybe a few like-minded parents, to say the least, and uh -huh. there would be kids this tall, and they're up here with their posture and their arms Correct. are really like bent up high, the handle's yep. super high, yep. they've got this much of the club hanging out the end, yep. and they are uh, uh, the club is swinging them rather than them swinging Correct. the club, that's for sure. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> so every sort of player will benefit from a proper fitting, yeah. even if it's just a basic length lie weight 
of the golf club, yeah. they'll all see the improvements. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And it's uh, never been more easy to go and get fit than it is now. So Correct. really, at the end of the day, everyone should be going out and getting fit because it's only going to benefit you, make you a little bit more consistent, and especially your misses. Tighten that dispersion, help with off-center hits, and that's that's one of the big reasons Correct. That we're going to see a leap in performance. Finding center face. Finding center face. Yes. All right, so let's have a look at my set, run them Go. through what we fit for myself last time. In the past, we went with the RF MBs. Mm -hmm. I'm very partial to them, yeah. so it's going to take me a lot to change. Good news is the new model is even more forgiving and right. feels even better. <laughs> um, in terms of shaft, we went with the 6.5 low spin Project X shafts. Mm -hmm. um, lots of new shaft offerings now, so okay. we'll toy around with those. Yeah. And then, do they sound like swords when you take them out of the bag like these do? That's, uh, that's my favorite thing about them. <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Uh, no. Uh, we might have one or two that may sound like okay. that as well. Yeah. Um, and then, if I remember correctly, we ended up going Ventus in the woods. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, LTD LS nine degree with the Ventus six X. Mm -hmm. Fuji Core has updated their entire line to the new TR line, which is stiffer in the grip section. Okay. You can load it a little bit more, yeah. um, and it stays with you relatively well. Okay. Um, the new Aerojet head, I do expect to see club head speed gains yeah, yeah, yeah. from yeah. last time. Awesome. Um, even with the exact same shaft in testing, we've seen generally players pick up one to one and a half miles an hour Maybe. just by changing the club head. Good. And we did the same thing with the Ferro Woods. We went with the LTD back weight yep. just for a club that's a little more versatile off the ground mm -hmm. and a slightly higher launch shaft in the Ventus Red. Mm -hmm. um, also available now in the new TR line as well. Yeah, so I remember last time we were here, I was saying how much I really enjoyed the rails of, mm -hmm. I think it was the Rad Speed yeah. model that I had before. Yep. And uh, that's been an absolute godsend since I've been using it. Yes. Uh, this one here, absolutely love. This was quite an interesting club that we went through that fitting process. and we were, Yes, the driving iron. Yeah, we were sending so that one. This was our utility iron replacement before our utility iron released. Yeah, okay. So this is a Tech X four iron that we actually ended up strengthening the loft yeah. for you yeah. to 18 degrees yeah. with a utility shaft, not a hybrid shaft, a utility iron shaft. Yeah. Uh, 117 gram, extra stiff, mm -hmm. very low boring ball flight, very yeah. um, off the tee. In, th in theory, in, in theory. theory. Sometimes yes. it goes all <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> but no, look, I absolutely love all my equipment. Uh, I managed to misplace my putter last week, and I also was losing my seven iron, my eight iron there. Yep. So I was down to 12 clubs for a moment, but we need to build that back up. So I've got a full set, some extra weight to carry around the world. Mate, let's get into it. 